When you face a judge, you're often sentenced to jail time or even community service. We have the story of a Green Bay man, though, who caused quite a stir, quite a disturbance at a bank earlier this month, ended up being fined by police, even though he said he wanted more. So Bobby McLeod is doing what he can to make his wrong right. Mark Leland has more in our Fox 11 follow-up. Paul's Pantry is dedicated to helping the needy of Green Bay, providing groceries to some 4,500 families last year. The operation works because of food donations and the staff of volunteers. No, I'm not here because I want to be. You know, I, I feel that I'm here because you know I, I owe the community. But Bobby McLeod is a volunteer looking to give back. It's something he has never done before. His motivation stems from an incident at this Chase Bank on March 2nd. He admits to being a little drunk when withdrawing money and wrote a note he didn't intend for the teller to see. It said he was being forced to take out money against his will. Police were called, waiting friends were temporarily arrested, and McLeod sobered up. You know, I, I made a decision that was, that was bad, and, and now I'm paying for it. Green Bay police tell Fox 11 McLeod was fined $365 for disorderly conduct, and the case is closed. But McLeod felt that was not enough. McLeod tells us he offered a financial settlement to the bank to make amends for all the trouble he caused, and the bank accepted. Bank management, though, declined to comment on the situation. I'll take this from there. His next stop was to pay back the people of Green Bay with self-imposed community service. You know, I, I gave myself 300 hours to do here, and I'm going to do all of that before I even you know, do anything in, as far as a paying job or anything like that. He's been volunteering at Paul's Pantry for a week so far and expects he'll be here a couple months before his time is served. The pantry gets all kinds of volunteers, even the court-ordered kind. We provide an opportunity uh, for them also to, to pay back their debt to society. For McLeod, he says he's found meaning in his volunteer work that others face even tougher obstacles. And after making headlines for his negative actions, he hopes others see a different side of him now, but he's really doing it for his three children. My children are uh, not real proud of me for being here, and, and that is amazing. McLeod has had other troubles in the past. He even served seven years in prison for fraud, but he is starting to think giving back will be a part of the rest of his life. In Green Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Bobby McLeod is the brother of Carl McLeod, who was a suspect in the 2003 disappearance of Ariat Shaprevich of Alloway. Both were questioned by investigators. Carl McLeod was related to Shaprevich through marriage and denied any wrongdoing. He killed himself in 2006. Shaprevich's body was discovered in 2008.